Gormaig, uh, Gairlein, I want to thank everybody who contributed to the debate and particularly to uh, commend Deputy Curran for tabling this motion and for championing this issue on behalf of hundreds of thousands of workers and families who minister are continuing to struggle in the face of a cost of living crisis. They're seeing it in terms of the price of food, they're seeing it with energy, they're seeing it with other essentials continuing to rise and they see their bank balances are struggling to keep up with the weekly shop and with the monthly bill and some have already been forced to Made choices, choices that nobody should have to, be made, have to make, and that is whether to eat or whether to heat. Cutting back on food shopping uh, and, and, and trying to spare uh, the electricity in your home because the money simply just doesn't go far enough. And for everyone, there is an income squeeze for most people. Some people benefit from inflation. For the vast majority, there is a squeeze. In the doll last week, the Tonishta contended that the entire world is facing a cost of living crisis. But the reality is that not everyone is facing a cost of living crisis. Lower and middle income families face a far higher bill in living standards and a fire, higher fall in living standards than the wealthiest in society. Cutting back on food and fuel and other essentials is a crisis. Having to cut back on luxury items is not. And the government simply do not understand the financial strain that ordinary workers and families are under right across this state. Because if you did, if the government understood it, if they really got it, they would have responded properly and with greater urgency than they have. But they haven't because they don't get it. And that's the simple fact. In the past year, inflation has reached more than 8%. For lower and middle income households, it's a way above 8%. And they now see food prices rising, essentials go up in, their super, in the supermarket, and they're feeling it right in their pocket. The prices of food stables like bread and meat have gone up by over 5%. Uh, pasta and milk have increased by 10%. And some claim that people are living beyond their means. In fact, too many don't have the means to live, and that's the reality and the need help from a government who is tone deaf uh, to these pleas. To date, the government's response have been totally inadequate. Despite the high levels of inflation, inflation that figures that we haven't seen in decades, this government has refused to increase working social welfare rates. That is a disgrace, Minister. And for the Green Party to be in government and allow those people who depend on those fixed incomes to become poor in, the right, in, the light, in light of inflation at over 8 per cent, you should, you should quit your jobs now because it is a disgrace that you have left people struggling in that way. It's a shocking dereliction of government's duty to protect the most vulnerable. You said that your measures were targeted. Don't take my words for it. Take the IFAX word for it. A billion euro of targeted of measures Sorry, since the start of this year, 893 million of them were untargeted, untargeted measures, and you left those most vulnerable in society without any support whatsoever. When it comes to energy prices such as home heat and oil, you're making things worse. You're increasing the costs on families out there. And despite multiple calls from us, motions from us on this side of the House, amendments that we've tabled down, you have, like, like the, the one after the other, the Greens. Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael come in here to vote to increase the cost of living on people by pushing up carbon taxes, excise duty on these same families. The Mthisha recently doubled down on the government's refusal to introduce measures to support households until at least October. Now, like even the Tories, even Boris Johnson understands that his government needed to act in a targeted fashion to protect those most vulnerable. The fact that Fine Gael, Fianna Fáil and the Greens still don't get it, still are more out of touch than even Boris Johnson and the Tories screams loudly. But let me say this, Minister, it isn't too late to act. And that is why we have a motion down here. And you say you won't uh, oppose the motion. That's not what we want from you. We want you to act on the motion. The motion is very clear. It screams loudly to the concerns, the plights, the needs of hundreds of thousands of people across this state. It is recognising that not everybody can be protected from every price increase, but the government can and must do more. And that is why we are calling on you to introduce a cost of living cash payments to provide immediate financial support to those on lower and middle incomes. Sinn Féin are proposing cash payments of €200 Euro for every single adult in this state on incomes less than, less than 30000 and €100 Euro for incomes between 30 and 60000 along with another suite of measures that we have proposed, such as freezing rents and putting a month's rent back into renters 
taxpayers' pockets, increasing core social welfare rates to keep in line with inflation, cutting the cost of childcare, introducing a discretionary uh, energy fund which is needed. And just listen to St Vincent de Paul and none of this balderdash from the Minister saying that one already exists. One, the dogs in the street know that that is not what's needed. Vincent de Paul are arguing for this amendment that is before us. You should not only support the amendment, you should get off your backsides and you should implement it and get your heads out of the sand when it comes to the cost of living crisis that workers and families are facing right across this state. Yeah.